Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to ATM Gravitas. This time around it's 2.6 because I've worked a little bit um, to do a few things and the Vortex worked even further and Mike also worked a lot and uh, it came along and we have all the stuff and we have all the fixes and whatnot. There was a little bit of a bug that was introduced uh, recently where the um, sapling from integrated dynamics was no longer um, craftable but now it's actually back. I think the, the latest hotfix should be in very soon. I, I do not know whether uh, the Vortex actually um, released that, but right now it's, it's um, I have actually the fix on my machine because I, I uh, pushed that. Anyway, so what have I done in, the ep in between the episodes? Pretty much that, and uh, I also died in the FTB skies. <laughs> the most stupid death ever. Actually died to suffocation from going inside the the machinery. Oh, so yes, that that was a bummer. That was really bad. But what have I done here? I've actually set up all the stuff around here. So all of these were um, connected and created and whatnot. And um, the system is working. And also I connected it to uh, integrated dynamics, right? So I have here a whole bunch of chests right so these are you know like in the in the event where the the items are not fitting in any of these uh, drawers which are uh, quite plenty i'm i'm probably going to to put more stuff into drawers but i do not know whether you know some of these things actually fit in drawers or like should i like leafy kelp i know for sure that this one should be in drawers right so this one should go there i have a lot of stuff here and lots of this stuff was created um while i was actually like trying to to move the items around and uh Putting them in order and so on. Like I put chests and then stuck stuff into into here into the system. Some of the things I knew I needed, I put like in drawers. Like for example, the flowers and whatnot. I kind of want those easily accessible. I put like uh, this type of rocks. They are not in any kind of order because I thought like this is ordered enough. Like you can search and you can do everything you want through it. Um, and the drawers keep only like the stuff that I I know is stackable and I need plenty. So for example, wood is in here, right? And then I have upgrade. Uh, eight times and then I have like 1065 uh, oak logs right so wood is in here and then what else like this kind of stuff is you know I have plenty not really that much like right now but like yeah this kind of stuff as well, netherrack and so on. All right, so I also extended a little bit of an ID cable up to here, but I haven't actually done anything with it because this thing needs uh, 
switch. All right, so I need to be able to flick a switch somewhere, and I do not know how exactly is that going to work. I do not know where exactly do they do they have the switch on this machine. There should be one. Oh, it's here, I think. Yes. All right. So there we go. There we go. And then I need to actually just connect the switch to this thing. Uh, probably. I want to be able to connect also the power so that it doesn't power this up. If I don't want it. And then I need some variables. So for that one, I will have, you know, I will teach you guys how to do it. I need to automate this guy uh, to some extent. Uh, but like right now, I think I want to move it. All of this setup in the demon realm. And... Uh, that's because I have all the all the necessary stuff in here. Right, so I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, so this one has Wither Skeleton here. Yeah. Has Blaze here, down there. There's a skeleton here somewhere, which is already pretty upgraded. Right. So there is that. And if I'm not mistaken, there was another another thing. I can't remember where. But like that's already like. Blaze, I need blaze, I need skeletons. Or do I need skeletons? I think I don't. So I could just use the wither skeletons, definitely. Those are also playing the role of undead. The blazes, and I need Enderman, right? So yeah, I need to also open this up, right? So this whole thing can be destroyed and then you have a void world all for yourself, right? So there is a there is that bit. Ah, all right. So what else do I need? Oh yes, I need to also get all of these items and stick them in here. Oh, by the way, because of the omnidirectional, right? I think we have the nice ability of being able to use the storage system while we are in any uh, dimension. So that's pretty, pretty damn good. All right. Can I drink that now? Would be interesting. All right. So yeah. So I'll have to take all of that lava and then move the blaze from them in in some sort of enclosed uh, space. Make the rituals and the blood altar and whatnot. Round about here, this room looks pretty fine for that. I'll, I'll remove all of this. I'll just remove everything, including the room, and make it, um, yeah, make it into the blood altar and the rituals. And we have a. I made a little bit of a cellar over here, and it's right here in the middle of the ocean pretty much um 
I do not know what's going on with this, but I, I travel like directly north from uh, my spawn. And then I traveled by boat until I found this little place. Oh, that's a little bit strange. Oh, really? Okay, let's actually take some ladders. Ladders? I didn't even notice that. Because I was trying to put like grains here. Putting them inside, actually. And they didn't go inside. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. So if I put like over here, one year, okay. And if I take them, yeah, okay. So this does not affect them in any way. This is fine. This is fine. So I can actually just store a lot of stuff over here what I will probably have to store is just cheese and maybe fruit maybe but yeah so this is kind of like what I what I wanted to do Another thing I wanted to do is item interface. Interface. Yep. So these guys. Okay, so let's actually just check. All right. And then I need to do cable. Cable. Mm -hmm. And then I want the omnidirectional. Omni. All right. And then we go like that. And it kind of like should have the apple here. Okay. Apple. And it does not. Such a pity. Okay, how do we do this? Okay. Weather. Like importing and exporting. Not from there, but like from there. Okay, sounds good. looks worse than it sounds and then that and then an item interface that's all right and then i could just go programmable logic programming whatever okay and then variables and then i take a bunch I'll take them all for now. And then I go like, okay, leather. All right. Probably it's not going to work with leathers, will it? Then I should just use some apples. Yes, sounds good. Item apple. All right, that will do. And then, fine. So exports, not all items, but this one. No. Mm. No. How about and 
this one. No. As in like down probably. Maybe, maybe it just doesn't work, eh? And this one, up, because this usually goes like, should work. Uh, yes, it did work. Now the sample will not go in there. So this is terrible. A crate, so one of those uh, in uh, integrated dynamics. So uh, item importer, item exporter, cables. All right. Put that to the test as well. Yeah. No, I'll test it with this one, yeah? Okay. We'll see about that one. This one is no longer insulated, so, but, but if I do this, this does not count as insulation, so this is kind of like a little bit of shit. Yeah. Okay. But we could interface do that. All right. Let's test. I need a little bit of meat. Let's just take a bunch. Yeah, so sorry. Okay. Wanna test whether this works, okay? So variable, variable and programmer. Okay. Programming interface this with 
that. Okay. Export item. No. He said it's gonna work. Obviously it does not. Alright guys, so... I started to get a little bit carried away right now. I've done this. So, what I've done is... I've made it so that this thing exports precisely one stone. And then... It keeps filling it with stone, then it takes out through this interface uh, exactly the items we need, as in like the slates we need, based on this thing, as soon as they get to the number we need. The idea is that I want to get the the rituals for the endless realm in the beginning. And this is so that I'm uh, able to get the, uh, what's it called, the demonite. Yes. And also, I know that there is a library in there, which means that we can get a whole bunch of uh, uh, enchanting tables and other similar things, stinkers, trinkets. The idea is that um, it needs 69 runes and I do not have 69 runes at the moment. So, yeah. And I made this thing so that it keeps 16 of each and every rune in the inventory um, by adjusting the the variable so let me show you guys um, what I've done here so this is a variable card uh, from below this guy yeah and this one gets a list of items so if you go here right there okay it has this one list of items and then i have a number 16 i just arbitra arbitrary number and then this one uh, no this one yes uh, is a number again variable card for one it's just a constant. I do not know why why does it actually not say constant card, whatever. And variable card get list item from this number. And then this is one, so it actually gets the slot one. Namely because, because slot zero is here, I think. I do not know what exactly is the, the actual reason, but like you can check uh, each and every slot by moving the slot in here and then you, you understand what exactly is the slot. Now, oh my god, I have to actually just kill a bunch of these, uh, not a whole lot actually. Okay, that's enough. All right, so um, the next thing. So this one gets the item and then this one gets the count inside this list for this item. And then it gets, you know, like whatever you have over there. And then it checks whether this 
this number is smaller than this and then if it's true then it has a choice card with either uh, this item or this item so this one is just an empty item variable All right so it, I repeat that pattern for a bunch of times And then, and then we have another variable over here, which is done. Yeah, so I repeat that pattern. And on this one, on this one, it's the choice between uh, this item or this item, which is the result of the previous choice. And then this is just repeated, repeated, repeated. And then the last, the last thing, the last variable is going to go in here. And then it just says reinforce slate. Oh, that, that's it. It's like I'm, I'm actually doing reinforce slates. And it also knows how many of them are in the system. Right now it's two. All right. So it's like it's trying to keep a certain level of those slates in the system oh that's that's a big thing a big a big loot explosion all right so oh i need to put this one over here as well and then yeah that okay 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 we have it uh right so the other one the other one so this one is the same thing but i have a reader below the altar all right and then it reads one single slot the slot zero this time because this time the item is made correctly and then it goes okay oh i i know what the slot is in here it's the accept slot yeah all right anyway so this variable is reading what exactly is inside of there so that it doesn't put more than uh, one item and then if it's not null right so if this one is checking whether this item is null and then this one has the deep slate just a constant card and then this one is saying if it's not null then put a deep slate otherwise put this item as in like nothing uh this one yeah yeah uh no this uh this one is saying whether it's null is showing choosing this one and then this one yes okay i found it this one is checking whether this thing, whether this thing wants items so that it doesn't feed the system with slates, well, with stones anymore, right? So that, that's the thing. All right. All right. So that kind of like allows me to get a whole bunch of uh, slates, deep slates for any blood magic stuff uh, rapidly depending on on the speed of uh, the speed runes i do not have any speed runes i kind of like wanted to keep this uh this guy just for crafting a little bit i'll have to eventually get into uh, a2 to make this proper uh, because that one has big enough tanks like right now the other option is to go with uh, with uh, immersive tanks i think those are the cheapest but that's kind of like not really worth it so i do not know for that but yeah so this is this is the whole uh, the whole jazz uh, and i'm going to have to just do this for a while and get enough runes 
well, uh, not uh, runes, uh, ritual stones uh, for the big ritual for the Endless Realm. Um, once I have those, I will go to the Endless Realm. But I think that will happen in probably the next episode, because this episode is getting a little bit long. And I want to, yes, I want to actually get a little bit of pacing with the, with, with the episodes. Uh, I do not know whether I will build this one a little bit bigger. Uh, as in, like, make, make this one the real thing, or probably could consider moving all of this setup in the demon realm because because things right so yeah this is this is it i'm kind of tempted not to move everything in there maybe i will move just the blood altar and all of this setup can actually just be moved over there and uh, anyway it's gonna communicate through the through the omnidirectional because omnidirectionals are pretty efficient um, and they are not that hard to make like right now the limiting factor is Probably the iron for everything that I'm making, right? So that's kind of like all that matters right now. It's just getting enough iron. So without further ado, let's see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching and puff a fish out. <laughs>